This is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today on Effects Explained, I'm going to talk about noise gate, or noise suppressor, or um, noise killer, I don't know what companies call them. Um, all made, of course, to reduce uh, unwanted noise. Uh, the thing is, with uh, electric guitars, that you have um, magnetic uh, pickups, and... Um, by design they make noise uh, it's very simple um, and they haven't really thought out how to make that disappear uh, when they started making pickups we, they only had a single coils which as you can see these are two ones there um, and they by their construction makes a special noise um, and when you put two of them together and uh, have their polarities, they are magnetic. So if you put like the polarities of the magnets in them in different ways and wind the pickups in different directions, then this this that noise cancels out, but some noise still stays. And um, especially when you use uh, high gain, it's not that usually that noticeable and with low gain, but when you're using distortion and high gain. Uh, and then you need, uh, if you're not very fast with your volume control, um, you need a noise gate. So what uh, a noise gate does, if you if you take a regular uh, note and play it, this is what happens with the volume. It just uh, starts at the top and then slowly decreases and then you left with the noise uh, as uh, the tone disappears. That's the only noise left. And uh, a noise gate uh, finds that level where it's only noise and cuts the volume completely, automatically. Yeah, let's uh, show you an example. Uh, here's, uh, I'm, I'm gonna use a very distorted to tone to like overemphasize this effect. Um, and here it for here it is first without any noise gate at all so it's yeah full noise <laughs> As you heard, uh, when the note or the sound of the guitar decays, then you're left with only noise. So this is what a noise gate does. I'll show you now with a noise gate engaged, um, the significant difference. Here we go. you notice but when I play the note that sustain um, it actually cut it a little too early and um, that's the thing when you're adjusting a noise kit you have to find that sweet spot where you actually still have a note and you still want to hear it because um, if you turn the noise kit up too much you get a very unwanted uh, effect when it cuts off your notes uh, a noise kit by the way can look something like this Or something like that. Or something like this. Yeah, finally I'm going to show you an example of just the things I, I told, talked about uh, when you turn the noise gate up far too much and it really cuts the notes. Uh, so you have to adjust it. Here it is. Um, 
with too much effect. <laughs> So, keep on finding, and uh, it's individual for every guitar. Some guitars are more noisy and some guitars are less noisy. So you have to find that level for each guitar. Um, yeah, I find the noise kit very handy. I use it all the time, uh, especially with, as I said, distorted sounds. Yeah, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd uh, talking about uh, noise gates today. And um, yeah. I'll see you soon with another episode of Effects Explained. Bye. <laughs>